I know that it's been a while guys. I know that I haven't uploaded it in like, it feels like it's been forever, but in all honesty, it's only been like two weeks. But that being said though, I am quitting YouTube or at least going on an indefinite break. And so I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about that today. And as I was doing that, I just wanted to give you guys a tour of the world since I'm going on a break. You guys may have become invested into this world or you guys may have just wanted to see more of it. And so I'm doing a tour once again, just as a way to cap everything off. And so in the background, you'll see me just walk through this world and sometimes I'll stop and talk about some of the builds. Anyway, though, why am I quitting YouTube? I went into it knowing that I would probably quit YouTube whenever school started again and so that's the main reason why I'm quitting. I'm going back to school. I'm a pre-med major which is a pretty tough degree um, as is but I'm also just a big nerd. I, I really do emphasize my grades and that means a lot to me performing well academically. And so last year I I brought my PC to college to play video games and I could probably count the amount of times that I played it on one hand and so that's in part while why I'm quitting YouTube I don't want to make any promises and be like hey you know I promise you know to get X amount of uploads to you guys each week or each month because to be honest I don't know if I'll be able to keep any you know semi regular form of uploads going and I don't want to you know keep any or make any empty promises to you guys and so that's partially why I'm you know making this video here today and here's our other big farm i've been using this for hay bales for my actual base and yeah there's that up here i started trying to do a more complex build or at least uh starting to do or started to do a semblance of a city but we didn't ever really you know capitalize on anything over here over here though we have our main iron farm this is what got us through the entire series or the entire let's play me and my older brother and then here we have the mob farm but yeah on top of school there's just um, a lot of other stuff this past so let's first talk about why i haven't been uploading also side note here's my gold farm this is where i got all my xp for basically the entire series as well during the summer i was i had a lot of stuff going on i guess i was working i was um i was doing school work and I thought whenever that stuff ended, whenever I had like more free time in the summer, just to do whatever I wanted, I thought that I'd have, you know, some sort of spark of motivation or some reason, you know, get off my butt and do stuff. But I found it actually very hard whenever, you know, the stuff that I've been doing, you know, to keep me productive all summer long has stopped. I found it really hard to do any other productive thing, I guess. And so that's part of the reason why I just haven't been very productive, to be honest. And that's not a fault of you guys there's no real rhyme or reason to it but if i'm not you know inclined to make a youtube video if there's no you know thought you know going through my brain if there's if i don't have an idea i'm not going to try to force a video out of me or anything i feel like that just is ingenuine and doesn't feel very authentic the other reason is um so my girlfriend left at the beginning of august it's kind of it kind of sucks her being gone i mean i, I knew that it'd be that way but it it hasn't been the most fun time. I haven't been really doing anything without her. I actually have um, went and played pickleball a few times with my friends from high school, so that's been pretty fun. And I've been doing other stuff just out and about um, my hometown. But ever since you know work has stopped, school has stopped, my girlfriend's left, I haven't been you know really that motivated to really do much of anything. And so that's partially. Um, why there hasn't been any uploads but I'm not gonna try to make excuses whenever it comes down to it I haven't been making videos because I just haven't been making videos I don't know there's not much to it and I know that it's not like very fair to you guys or whatever but I mean it's the truth and I want to be as honest as I can with you guys the other thing is um, whenever I started YouTube uh, I had like a lot more motivation I guess what do I mean by that whenever I started I uploaded a video and it was titled I think a video to stay motivated or something like that and I uploaded it with no you know expectations I guess for success I just uploaded it to upload just so I'd have something you know like the video said to keep me motivated to actually hold me accountable for this Minecraft world I wanted to, to stick with this world and make it good and do the best I could, I guess, to uh, make it memorable. You know, YouTube channel as a whole, I guess, was really just a way to keep me motivated to playing this world with my brother. 
the thing is after that video was uploaded there was just a general <laughs> lack from the both of us to play this world i still played it because that's what i upload my youtube videos for but he stopped playing it and so one of the biggest contributing factors to why i was playing this world was now just gone and so i wasn't playing you know this world anymore you know for the reason i initially started which is fine and you know the reasons or the motivations behind something can change but that's just something that you know that happened that made it harder for me to feel motivated to play minecraft and other things like that the other thing is whenever that first video is uploaded there's no metric for expectation i went in blind and then since i went in blind i didn't really have any um any expectations for you know what success was i didn't want you know x amount of views or x amount of likes i just wanted you know a way for to keep me motivated but shortly after you start uploading even if you you didn't come in with the intentions of being some big youtuber or doing this for the views or doing anything like that it's hard to avoid seeing the metrics it's hard to avoid you know seeing when a video does well or when a video does bad since that's part of the reason why um i stopped uploading at various points throughout the summer not just you know the most recent time but whenever i felt like i was getting too focused on the views or too focused on the likes i'd stop because that's not what i want my channel to be about i don't i don't want anything that i do at least to have that extrinsic motivation i want to do it because i'm intrinsically motivated to to you know actually like it or to to do something with it i don't want the views or the likes or some external gain to drive me towards it i guess which may be silly but that's just how i am i guess i don't know if there's any way around it the last reason why i'm i haven't been uploading is because i knew that i was gonna be quitting youtube here before long and so i didn't want to try to you know upload any videos because i knew that as soon as the summer was over my youtube channel would also be stopping and so that gets into why i am quitting youtube and that brings us over to our main base as well there's this river that connects mine and my brother's base. That was my brother's base. I didn't say that already, but there's this um, man-made waterway that I, brings our two bases together. And so this is my base. Anyway, though, as I was saying, so why am I quitting? I'm quitting because I'm going back to school and I'm, I'm not a pre-med. Like, I don't want to go to med school or anything, but... I am a pre-med major and so a lot of the stuff that I do is very intensive it's pretty rigorous stuff I'd say which is no excuse I feel like I could do YouTube on top of it but um last summer I brought my PC to school and I can literally count the times that I played it on one hand like I barely ever played my PC just because I was so not necessarily busy but I was so like wrapped up in college I, I didn't really care too much about playing video games I cared more about spending time with my friends or studying mostly studying to be honest but just like doing things that I thought were more important than playing video games and so while I am bringing my PC to college I don't necessarily have any expectations to actually play it I don't have you know much motivation to to upload a video at either because if I'm not playing video games I can't really make any content and if I didn't have time before you know to have the free time to play video games or upload videos or anything like that why should I expect myself this semester whenever my classes are harder whenever um I'll have less time in general to do that type of stuff and so that's that's the main reason I guess uh I'm gonna stop moving so <laughs> just I'm sorry I'll, I'll probably put a clip of this up so on my discord channel uh I started typing this out and then I got caught up and so I'm just gonna read that off I say, I was planning on filming a video to talk more about this, but I figured the people who actually care are already on this Discord server, so here it goes. I'm taking a break from YouTube for an indefinite amount of time. There are multiple reasons for this, but the primary reason is college is starting within the next week. I'm a big old nerd, and most likely do not have time to create videos. So that, during the short time of uploading over the summer, I came to, the, to a realization. I once thought of YouTube as my dream. Who wouldn't want to post videos playing video games for a living? After actually trying to make that dream a reality this summer, I don't think that dream is as awesome as I originally thought. Disclaimer, I would love to give my full effort into YouTube, try to create the best content possible, drop out of college, etc, etc. To be honest though, even if I did take the riskier route of sacrificing study time, family time, or my free time in college to continue uploading videos semi-regularly, I don't think I'd find fulfillment in a life like that. 
Just like anything else in life, YouTube and content creation comes with its own ups and downs, things I didn't originally foresee when I started this journey. This is not to say that I will never upload again, because I'd love to come back to YouTube when I have something intense in my mind that I want to get off my chest. At the same time, I will probably never make YouTube a priority in my life again. I think for me personally, life is best spent with the people you love, doing the things you love. YouTube, at least for me, is something that I love, but is very much an independent endeavor, an independent endeavor, and so one of those, you know, primary principles or primary factors of life isn't a part of YouTube. I know that that's really wordy, um, but basically the gist of it is, whenever I was little, I always wanted to be a YouTuber. It's what I grew up watching. It's, you know, I still go back and watch Minecraft YouTube videos and everything like that. And I'm not trying to dog on it. I do think that there is merit to it. I do think that there is fulfillment that can be achieved through through Minecraft or through, you know, content creation as a whole. But at the same time, um, a lot of stuff has happened this summer. In one of my videos, titled Death is Essential, I talked about, you know, my work life. I, I was a uh, I was at an entry care or an entry level healthcare position this summer working and I experienced my first like patient death. And so that was pretty hard, pretty rough. Um, on top of that, just like my job, just working and, and getting to spend time with our friends and family. There's more to life than just uploading videos for other people to enjoy. And while I could see myself, you know, one day coming back, posting YouTube videos, I could never a achieve or attain a fulfillment in my life that I'd be happy with. I think if I stuck with YouTube and, and tried to make it a full-time career, that is something that could one day be possible. But at the same time, just because it one day could be possible doesn't mean that it would one day make me happy. I think if I were to, you know, stick with YouTube, become any other content creator just posting videos not only as a way to just you know post my thoughts it would one day become about getting money and uh, making a livelihood off of it I don't think that that would ever you know make me happy in the end of things and so that's why I am deciding to take a break I hope you guys do understand and I do want to say I want to thank you guys so much for basically everything that this that happened this summer I never really expected to ever go and try a YouTube channel even though it was a dream of mine I thought that it was something that I'd never even try and so it is cool to have people here today who have followed me you know along for the summer and actually you know watch my content watch my videos and it really does get, bring me joy to just see you know the community I've made the discord server people interacting there's people who are you know playing Minecraft playing video games together who probably would have never met if it wasn't for me and I do think that there was a rhyme or reason to doing my YouTube channel, even if, you know, I'm quitting it for an indefinite amount of time. With that being said, I'm just gonna, just gonna finish this video off by just talking about this world, what my plans were for it, and I hope you guys did enjoy. Once again, though, thank you everybody for, for basically all the memories this summer, for everything you guys have done for me. And if you guys need anything from me personally, if you guys ever want to talk to somebody, if you guys need help mentally through anything, feel free to contact me through the Discord. It will be in the comments below. Even though I won't be um, uploading nearly as regularly anymore, I do want to tell you guys, I'm still here for you. If you guys need help with anything, you guys can always contact me. I'm there for you guys. Other than that, boys and girls, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Once again, Peace out. So we're resuming this tour, so I'm just gonna talk about, you know, some of the, the plans I had for this world that will probably never be, you know, fulfilled anymore. So here, you guys may have remembered me mining out this mountain. Here is where I wanted a Colosseum to be, where me and my brother could fight each other, and so that is a pretty cool idea. I don't think it'll ever come to tuition or anything like that, but I I do think that it is a cool idea and a cool premise to have. What I'm standing on right here is probably my first build once I got the walls up. It is my sugarcane farm. And so now it's like full, like it goes back quite a ways of just full chests. <laughs> but it's not very efficient and a lot of a lot of waste happens, but it it got the job done for me. And so yeah, it's pretty cool. First build kind of set the the grounds for whatever else you wanted to do. Um here. I wanted water rays connecting the whole village, but that didn't end up working out. There's just not enough space for me to be able to do that. Down here is one of the entrances. Something cool about this is if you have a boat, you can actually go up to the next level, which is something I thought was cool, but 
who knows, maybe it's just a dumb idea. Here's a field that I was going to use to trade with my villagers, and so this is where my villagers were going to go. A large portion of my YouTube channel was spit making these houses that aren't even done yet. <laughs> but um, I was going to have villagers who lived here, and I was going to trade with them and make, you know, emeralds off of them and sell stuff to them and other cool things like that. This right here, this building that isn't finished either, is my storage room, but I called it City Hall. This is where quote unquote more high profile villagers are going to be. Um, and I was going to have like a whole, you know, interior room, stuff like that, but I didn't have the time for it. It's a pretty grand project that I didn't wasn't able to get done. And over here, this is the library, or I was actually gonna, I think, call it like a cathedral or something. And so here were, here is where the librarians were gonna be, or like the priests, I guess. Um, but I didn't have time to get this finished either. This is probably the most incomplete build that you guys have seen. But yeah, it's it is a pretty cool concept. I just didn't have the time to get it done. And then over here we have our mines and. Since this is not that big of an area up here, at least for like the stuff I wanted to do, this was actually going to be home to where I had more stuff. So there's going to be like an underground village down here because there wasn't enough space up there. And there's going to be like more farms down here. There's going to be like super smelters, other things like that, that I couldn't fit just above ground in our little area. There's also going to be one building here where I had like the blacksmith, the toolsmith, and the armorer. Just a building for those three villagers. But I didn't also did not um, finish that either. The last thing is over here. We were going to have, me and my brother had plans. So his base over on that side and my base over on this side were supposed to be like two rivaling villages or at least like in the past they were and so even though this bridge now connects the two villages that's like kind of like their s symbolic like peace treaty this little river connecting the two whereas here was going to be the remnants of the past four and so there's going to be like no man's land there's going to be fire and then a lot of like dead looking land and some other things like that and it was a cool idea. Once again, though, on top of this and his base, we just didn't really ever have time to get to it. On top of that, over here was going to be my true base. So this whole little village here was actually never supposed to be my my base base. This is just supposed to be um, a village or the, the closest village to my base. And so... These were like the commoners, I guess, or just like the, the, the like, yeah, I guess the commoners. And over here, I was going to have a big giant base. It's, I don't know what I was going to go for. I didn't know if it's going to be like a temple or like a castle or anything like that, but it's going to be like the king's palace and I was going to be the king. And then on top of it, there's going to be mob farms and other huge farms like that, that I was going to, you know, like... Okay, so there's going to be mob farms and iron farms and other things like that that would all be centric to that base. And so yeah, it was pretty, a pretty cool idea, pretty cool concept, but I, once again, never, never came to fruition. I'd love to go back to this base one day and see things through, but I won't be able to play on the server in college because this is a server and I can't port forward with my internet um, provider and so that kind of sucks. I feel like I made the most of it, even though I didn't get all my um, dreams accomplished. I never would have thought that, you know, this world would turn out the way that it did. And likewise, it was cool to get to experience um, one last Minecraft world, my um, brother, before we go off on our own separate ways. And so I'm, I thank you guys for going along with the ride. Also, this wasn't supposed to be an interview thing, but I just want to say some of the logistics right before I stop YouTube indefinitely. After two months of uploads, here I am sitting at 602 subscribers, 503 hours of watch time with 22,322 views. And so if you guys have ever watched one of my videos, I thank you guys. It really does mean a lot to me. 
this is really like you know a partial dream come true i i wouldn't say that i hit it big or anything like that but it was cool to be able to create a community with you guys and you guys to get to experience my minecraft world and my thoughts on top of that and so i, I really do appreciate each and every single one of you i know that i said it once but i'll say it again everybody peace out